I was uh, shaking out some, some laundry and in my bedroom and a scorpion fell out of my pants. And I, he's right there, can you see him? He's, he's small, oh, there he goes, he's running. Little, little tiny scorpion was in my clothes in my bedroom. Yikes. <laughs> I just want to say the farther south you go, the more bug bites you wake up with every every single morning. I got my legs and my arms just have a lot of bug bites all over them. Um, there you go. There's another <laughs> part of the adventure. Part of the adventure, a little scorpion. And, and my pants were up on this coffee table here. So that, that scorpion figured out how to climb up those legs and get up on that coffee table and into my clothes to, to hang out. Scorpion. We're heading out to Leon, Nicaragua today. It's about a two and a half hour drive with a border crossing. So maybe five and a half hours. However, I hear the Nicaragua borders are the most difficult to cross. So I guess we'll see what happens. Hopefully no surprises like the scorpion in my pants this morning. <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want those kind of surprises. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Check this guy out. He's hauling hot dog buns on his motorcycle. <laughs> That's more hot dog buns than I ever would have thought you could fit on a motorcycle. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I believe we are approaching the border. It's me, baby. So, uh, we got everything signed off. And, uh, on this side of the border, I got Jose with me, and uh, he's, he's walking me through stuff. There were a bunch of other guys. I said, no, no glasses, no glasses. And you have to be extremely firm and persistent with these guys. They will demand something. You say, just go away, go away, from the beginning, the whole way through, and, and then you're good. Anyways, uh, we got everything signed off on this side. My, my dog, my car, and my immigration, my, my stamp and my, my passport. Alright, we are through... Mucho papel in Nicaragua, huh? We are through the Nicaraguan border, and that was definitely the most aggravating and just frustrating border to get through. I definitely recommend hiring a guide to get through it. Uh, I think it probably took us about five hours. Hola! <laughs> okay, well, we're stopped in the road because of cattle. Hey, cattle! some active volcanoes in the distance. The guy that I had helping me, he kept insisting that he paid. He paid bribes on both the Honduras side and the Nicaragua side. Nicaragua side when I went to pay him, I said I'd give you. We agreed on $40, which is ridiculously high. He's like, well, I paid them $20 and I paid the other guys $20 and paid $40 more. I, I, I gave him 20 when he says he paid the Nicaragua. And then he says, oh, I paid, I paid Honduras 22. And I was like, you know what? You're scamming me. And I said, no more. Now I'm learning these borders. These border helpers, they're, they're slippery, shady kind of folks. They try to, try to get as much out of you as they can. Here we are entering into Leon. Uh, first impressions, uh, Nicaragua, other than the ridiculously frustrating border crossing, seems pretty nice, actually. I like it. 
Hey, this is the hostel I landed in. Where it's pizza night. Yay! Pizza! Um, we got folks from Germany and Germany and where were you from? Yeah, England. These two are from Germany. England? Yes. Yeah. Scotland. 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 Ireland. 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 <laughs> Very nice. And is that the Cambian? Ireland again. And where are you from? <laughs> He just, he doesn't care, he just wants pizza. <laughs> nice. nice people. All right guys, good morning. This is the hostel I'm staying in tonight. It's really nice. I'm gonna be here for a couple days actually. Uh, got a little fountains and hammocks. People here are pretty cool. Good morning. <laughs> How's it going? Good, good. Good. Gracias. And here over this way we've got the kitchen. This place is pretty nice. We've got a kitchen, hammocks, ping pong table. Hola. <laughs> yeah, this is our guide. ¿Cómo se llama? Yelman. Yelman. Okay. So we're gonna go see the volcano. Man is coming. First volcano hike. Yeah. Here's the place where the bus picks us up. I guess we're going to a volcano and we're gonna sled down it. Sledding down the volcano. Should be interesting. <laughs> We're stopping for a cafe. I'm just gonna grab a water. Just a water for me, please. Just the water? Yeah. What about the lovely small doggy? Some uh, water too? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. He would love water. Como se llama? Leo. Leo. Julio. Hello. Hola. Como? Bati. Bati. Si. Um, uh, es encantado. Yeah. Uh, ¿Usted es de México? Sí. Ciudad. Mexico. Mexico. Oh, Ciudad de Mexico. Okay, we're heading to do volcano boarding. Sliding down volcanoes, lava rocks, which actually seems like a really bad idea at first thought. <laughs> On sleds. We'll see what happens. This is our group. Hola. Hola. Hi. Hi. Got a couple English speakers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Marching with the boards. Okay. <laughs> this is the Cerro Negro. Most people, most people ask, why Cerro Negro? Because the sun is black. That is the difference about other volcanoes. Este es el Cerro Negro, ¿verdad? Mano, how you doing, buddy? Oh. Oh, oh, bicicleta. Bicicleta. He's going bicycle. Going bicycle? Yeah. <laughs> sí. 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 Sí
and he's still alive. <laughs> when everyone asked and everyone laughed about it. And then, and then, he fell. Oh. Many broken bones. Okay, go ahead. Okay, when he got to the hospital, he made in the news, the, he's meeting his wife. Oh my god, it was, it was like a finally, finally happy, you know, for him. So this volcano has interrupted since 1999, but you can see smoke coming out of it still. So it's still, I mean, it's probably gonna erupt again someday. And last time it erupted, yeah, it, yeah. it got put down into this town. Yeah. And destroyed some gas stations and exactly. restaurants, but nobody died. Exactly. Except yeah. for the animals. Yeah. And that's where we started, right down there. Way down there. We're climbing across this ridge to the summit. And that's right up there is where we go, right? Exactly. Right. Here we have a bunch of lemmings about to go off the cliff. <laughs> Including myself. Yeah. So good. so good! Okay guys, we are right. Now I'm going to show you the picture. Oh, the ground is warm. You can feel the steam coming off of it. Oh, cool. Yeah, the ground is very warm. <laughs> Oh, that's like burning that's hot right yeah. there. That's really hot. Wow. The reason is because right now we are in another corner. And there's like tons of tons of bugs all over. What are those little guys? There's like a hundred bugs on your back, dude. <laughs> all right, we're ready to take off. Going over the edge. I think I'm going to try the bite mount with my GoPro so I can use two hands. <laughs> She's going kind of slow. She's dragging her feet. All right, I'm heading down this volcano here. I'll strapped in. He's taking mana behind me, so here we go. Hopefully we don't die. Fun. They're, uh, they're way up there. <laughs> Holy cow. We were going pretty fast. We're probably 40 miles an hour. 45 miles an hour, something like that. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> That's fun. Fun stuff. Yes, do you or no?
Hey guys, we're gonna wrap up the Nicaragua video. It's been a great day. Had a lot of fun, met a lot of really nice people. Had an interesting conversation with a fellow tonight in the hostel. And I wanted to share parts of that conversation with you. One of the things he asked is why I'm coming to Ecuador. Why, why didn't I decide to leave the United States? And uh, there's a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons is uh, because of the culture of the United States. I don't, I don't love some, some aspects of the culture. When you meet somebody in the United States, the first thing they typically ask is, what's your name? And the second thing they typically ask is, what do you do? And um, I notice down here, there's none of that. People don't care what the hell you do. And in the United States, it almost seems like people are trying to gauge how much respect they owe you based on what you've accomplished. And I think that's kind of a false, that's an erroneous way of thinking. Uh, you know, I, on the scale, on the ladder of how high you climb, that ladder of respect. You know, I worked writing software for autonomous vehicles. I have a degree in engineering. I worked for a big old powerful company doing, you know, pushing the front, front edge technology forward. And I wasn't happy. I was pretty darn high in that ladder. ladder people would ask me what I did and they'd say, wow, that's amazing. You know, that, I felt like I was pretty high in that ladder, but I wasn't happy. What matters more is conversations and people. What we're doing right now, having a conversation, that's much more important than, than money and respect. And so I just wanna say, remember to make time for conversations with people in your life. And maybe, maybe it's a good idea not to care as much. I'm, this is kind of preaching to myself here is maybe I shouldn't care as much what people think or what I think about people depending on what they do or what they've accomplished and just appreciate people for being people. So that's all I want to say about that today. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, tell me what you think about anything. Uh, sliding down volcanoes, scorpions, and the most important things in life to you. Let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you love the video, subscribe, ding the bell, and I'll see you in Costa Rica.